Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Brian, I'm Janet, and this is our channel Camp in Harmony. Today's video is the top 10 gifts for RVers or campers. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Janet, this is Brian, and welcome back to Camp in Harmony. Today's video, we thought we would share our top 10 gift ideas for campers, RVers, or outdoors people. We're not sponsored, they're, we're not affiliated. These are just items that either we've gotten as gifts or would love to get as gifts uh, that we thought we'd share with the rest of you. Yep. So first on our list, we have some knives. Now these are camp knives and they are belt style where they can, has a nice loophole, you can put it on your belt. These ones don't tend to be folding knives. This one happens to be a K-bar. And Janet, we have also... A browning. So the really nice thing about these two, if you're crossing a border, as long as you let the border guard know they're legal in Canada or the United States. That's a, actually a really, both of those are really great knives. Okay, so number two on our list is a stainless steel wine tumbler. I love these um, because it's double walled uh, and uh, fully, what's the word I'm looking for? Insulated. Thank you. Um, it'll keep your drink cold. There's a lid on top so you don't have to worry about spilling. And when you're walking around the campground, it's just a nice way to keep either your beverage hot or cold. It does come with a straw um, that is a multi-use straw, so you don't also have to worry about poop polluting with uh, plastic straws. So thanks, Aunt Beth. This was a gift actually this year. Uh, we just opened it a little early, thank you. <laughs> okay. Number three, we have some flashlights and headlamps coming up. Now I don't have a flat uh, headlamp to show you, but we have a nice sturdy flashlight. It's armored, it's robust, it's a, um, it takes batteries that you can replace, um, and it's got a high and a low beam function. I would recommend a nice good sturdy flashlight to take with you on the trail um, or in your car or have one in your RV when you're camping. Um, Great for getting around if you're camping. Uh, out in the back country and you need to do a little bit of uh, night investigating um, and also try to make sure that it's either waterproof or water resistant and the other thing too is because we tend to drop our flashlights a lot I would suggest something with a metal exterior um, they can be a little heavier but they're also a lot sturdier yeah, that one was a great gift. Um, it really shoots a long beam. Yeah, we actually, that was actually a gift from a, a good friend of ours. Number okay. four, we have um, a light with a bug oh, zapper. Yeah. So this item was actually something we got in one of those outdoor gear boxes. And at first I was kind of like, really? This is not something that we need? Yeah. Turns out it is something that we need. So it's a mosquito killer lantern. The light actually does light up um, and is USB charged. And on top of that, um, this section in the lantern kills mosquitoes or no -seams. And we've actually tested this last year when the no were really awful in our trailer and outside. Worked great. Yeah, we'll kill mosquitoes, we'll kill the no -seams. They're great actually just to hang up at night while you're sleeping in. Yeah. Then you don't have to deal with the pesky mosquitoes buzzing around your head all night long. And because it of uh, the way it's built, you just charge it uh, with a USB-C. So really great, great for travel, super durable, and very lightweight. So really great idea, and thanks very much to Explore gift bo or uh, subscription boxes who we got this from. And we did pay for that subscription box with their own money. So again, not sponsored, not affiliated. Yeah. Okay. So next on our list, we have... Binoculars. So we have two or three pairs of binoculars. Uh, because we do tend to enjoy going out looking for wildlife, um, especially if you're in the back country, 
uh, really good binoculars and easy to store binoculars are really important. I would say my favorite pair are these Bushnells. Uh, we do have a couple other pairs. We have a larger pair of Bushnell and I want to say Tacoa or the other brand or Tahoma. I can't remember what can't they're called. Remember. But um, out of all of them, I would say these are the best. The nice thing about these is they're fully adjustable. Um, and believe me, I've dropped them. They're very durable. And because the outside is rubberized, they're easy to grip, especially when it's wet outside or humid. Um, and really good in the winter time if you're using gloved or mit mitted hands. Uh, it does also come in a handy travel case, so this ends up being in our camera bag all Yeah, the time. it's got a nice little belt loop on it too. It's packable, it's hikeable. All right, next up on our list, we have a throw blanket. Now this one, we got in a gear pack as well. It is, I'm not gonna take it out of the bag, I'm sorry guys, but it's just a nice little throw blanket, um, can kind of fit to about two people. Yeah. It uh, can be squished down quite a bit. Um, we bring it in the car sometimes, store it under the back seat. It's great for like a little winter travels, winter trip and driving. Um, also really good for the dogs. Yeah. So if the dogs are too cold around the campfire, it's a good place for them to lay down and we just wrap them up. The other really good use for this is for if you're at a concert or you're picnicking, you actually can use the blanket um, to sit on. So all around, great idea. And because it does pack light, you're more likely to take it with you than some of the towels or other blankets that sort of take up room in your backpack. Yeah, good. Next on our list, we have hammocks. Now, now on this one, we have another hammock we got in a gearbox. We have two other hammocks we have at camp as well. They're lightweight, they're portable. Um, you don't need to take anything else with you aside from just the ropes and the hammock itself. And they, they do pack down really, really small. So you can see this is the hammock. So um, if you check out the gear we use episode, uh, we have two different kinds of hammocks. One is a Martian, one is an Ohuhu, which is really hard to say. Um, but I would suggest if you're looking to get a gift for someone, these are really rugged fit. You can get doubles and triples and they even come with a bug net now. Yep. So if you're looking for a really great gift for someone, um, you can run the gamut. A single, all the way to a double, all the way up to something with a bug net and or they actually will come with a sun shield now too. Yep. Um, also, if you're a camper and you're looking for a different way to camp, they do have uh, camp hammocks now um, that you can use overnight. So really cool idea. Yep. All right, next up we have our Bose speaker. Janet, why do you like having a speaker around at camp? Well, we like to use our Bose speaker probably the most um, because we like to listen to podcasts at camp. And I would say the most useful thing about um, the Bose is they can travel anywhere. We've taken it to Mexico. We camp with it, whether we're in the backcountry, boy, we'll take it in the Jeep because it's very rugged. This particular one is also uh, waterproof, so you don't have to worry about it if you forget it out in the rain. We have used it around the pool or the lake too. Um, it is Bluetooth and fully chargeable. So I find it lasts anywhere from, if you're camping for a weekend, it'll last the entire weekend. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit uh, on the higher price side because you know campers have everything uh, this would definitely be my suggestion is the Bose speaker and this one is probably two or three years old now mm -hmm. so the newer ones are probably even better and I do know that they come smaller or larger yeah music podcast video extra speakers for your TV, like the list goes on and on. We, uh, we do a lot of, um, we do a lot of um, audio books and podcasts on these speakers as well, because they're just great to listen to while you're on the campfire. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so number nine. E-readers, e-books, iPads, or books in themselves. We kind of have this category, some sort of great reading material. Um, 
This will be a little more expensive if you're gonna buy this as a gift for somebody, but it holds thousands of books on it. Super lightweight. The charge holds for a very long time. I, I can't, we use these all the time. This one's about four or five years old now. Yeah. Um, uh, how much comes, it, it, yours will not come with its own dog hair, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it, ours is well loved and um, well traveled. Yeah, there's a lot of great books, whether it's uh, camping and cooking and trail guides yeah. or um, uh, map books you can buy as great gift ideas for people. Um, you can get uh, bushcraft books by the dozens of them. There, there's some great volumes of knowledge right in these ones for for the yeah. for the camper for in everyone. And you know, if you're looking for something sort of decorative and also useful, a good book for a camper is a really great thing. Um, if you're an RVer, something cool like Bushcraft 101 to leave around the camp. Especially if you're not a bushcrafter, makes people think you might be. <laughs> all right, last on our list. It's a triple category here, and it's all about the warm stuff. Yeah, so we live in Canada, and we cannot camp without a toque. Toques. So for you who are not Canadian, that would be a beanie or a warm hat. We use them uh, in the spring, fall, and winter if you're a winter camper uh it's great for those really cool days this one happens to be made of merino wool so that it breathes really well um it's also great if it's a little chilly at night to put your toque on sorry put your warm hat on and you'll keep warm all night yeah uh, and then our other option is warm slippers so i keep my slippers at camp all year round I do not like to have cold feet. So these are great if you're taking the dogs out in the middle of the night, uh, if you're just trying to warm up, or if you're kind of wandering around the campground a little bit. Um, I don't I don't wander around in my pajamas regularly unless I'm taking the dogs out in the morning. Um, and that is our top 10 list of items that we think would be really great additions for any camper, outdoorsman, or RVer. And what I would say is, the price list here on these can run anywhere from $10 for the flashlight or the toque, all the way up to about $125 for the speaker. So we've got a really good mix of items depending on what you're looking for, the price point, and who is the camper or RVer that you're looking for. Yeah. So please let us know in the comments below what your favorite gift ideas are. We're always looking for new things to help us camp. Uh, we're always looking to connect with other RVers to find out what they find the most useful. But also it's kind of cool to find out how other people camp. Yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think is a great gift suggestion as well. Um, just leave it in the comments and we'll read it. Absolutely, and don't forget, it is a holiday time, so any gift, whether it's you know something small or something large, everything is appreciated. This season is about being with family and friends. Yep. Don't forget to give our video a like and subscribe to our channel and um, ring the bell icon if you wanna see any more videos from us. Absolutely, and don't forget, happy holidays and Camp in Harmony, everyone. There we cut all that crap. <laughs> Blooper reel. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and here we go again. Okay. You say it a little weirder. <laughs> Blooper <laughs> reel. <laughs> all right. And the blooper reel continues. I'm not putting this. <laughs> I'm not putting this part in the blooper reel. These, this, that, but the, no, sorry. Go again. The gear that we like and it kind of works real. That or, kind of, or gear we might. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Yeah, we're bad at this today. Yeah. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Take 842. <laughs> we each have our top 10. <laughs> no, I Son thought of you, a... You want... <laughs> Come on, my, my neck next, hurts. Next week on Foul Mouth Gardener. <laughs> yeah. Are we running? Yeah. 
be like Ron McClain just leaning into the camera the whole time. <laughs> Don't make me get the, the laughs again. One. This will be the good one. <laughs> really? You started it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew you would do it. I knew you'd get the giggles. Oh my god. Don't start the blooper reel early. Okay. What the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good blooper reel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>